This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. CBI questions Kanimuri and Dayalu Ammal in relation to the 2G scam. Kanimuri says they are cooperating unlike other politicians. We are cooperating unlike uh, many political leaders who don't. So I think that uh, really has to talk for itself. The DMK and the Congress remain inconclusive after four rounds of talks over seat identification. They will meet tomorrow morning. Amma gives away one seat to the Tamil Nadu Kungu Ilangyar Peravai. It's most likely to be that of the Namakal district. Six men, allegedly pirates, attacked the Coastal Express 2 docked off the Chennai port. Their communication equipment is damaged. I never wonder why some of those uh, theatre outings end up like stale popcorn. It's when a hero, director and script combo formula fails Starting completely. From, uh... Uh, Rajini Khan sir, till a newcomer. All of them are scripts based on the script. You're watching uh, the late at night news on NDTV Hindu. I'm Evelyn Matthew bringing you the news and updates this hour. A look at the rest of the day's news nationally and internationally. A massive earthquake measuring 8.8 off the Japan coast triggers a tsunami and alert is sounded in 19 nations. The quake triggers fires across Japan. A huge blaze goes up at the oil refinery near Tokyo. A huge embarrassment for the Enforcement Directorate. Hassan Ali walks free after being granted bail. Police identify Radhika Tanwar's killer as a mentally unstable man called Vijay, detain two men who confessed to helping him escape. At a time when the DMK can least afford it, the party is now literally the epicenter of the investigation into the 2G spectrum scam. On the day that uh, the CBI questioned Kani Mori and her stepmother Dayalu Ammal, the chief minister's daughter has come out saying that they are cooperating with the CBI, unlike other politicians, which in itself, she says, should prove their intentions. M. Karnanidhi's daughter Kanimuri and his wife Dayalu Amal were questioned by the CBI this morning for around three hours in the 2G spectrum scam. The CBI is also getting ready now to submit its status report on the 2G scam to the Supreme Court by the month's end. We are answering everything uh, and whatever is required, whatever questioning is necessary, we are cooperating unlike uh, many political leaders who don't. So I think that uh, really has to talk for itself about our intention of coming out clean and that we are above board. Well, just to remind you that uh, the Kalingne television office was raided a few weeks earlier. Notably, uh, Kani Mori and Dayalu Ammal are known to be major stakeholders in the company. Ms. Dayalu Ammal reportedly owns 60% stake, while the Rajya Sabha MP reportedly owns 20%. The remaining 20%, once again, uh, based on reports, is owned by the managing director of Kalangya Television, Sharath Kumar. The whole controversy broke out when it was known that the DB Group had uh, transferred money to Kalangya TV. Meanwhile, a sense of uncertainty over which constituency will bear the Congress or the DMK flags still looms large, even after four rounds of talks between the five-member Congress committee and the DMK bigwigs today, the issue of seat identification remains inconclusive. The parties um, will meet tomorrow morning again for another round and by the looks of it, this issue too bears an uncanny resemblance to the seat-sharing chapter both groups had faced off late. Sources say the Congress wants to retain uh, the 48 constituencies it had contested in the 2006 polls and may also want seats in Chennai. Meanwhile, the Puruchi Bharatam has pulled out of the DMK-led alliance, saying they'd rather contest independently. Meanwhile, in the main opposition camp, uh, the Tamil Nadu Kungu Ilangnir Peravai has got one seat, most likely from uh, the Namakal district from Ms. Jay Lalita. That aside, the rival party also inked their deal with actor turned politician Sarath Kumar's AISMK, which has bagged two seats in the alliance. 
As far as uh, the rest of the AIA DMK allies are concerned, no announcements on the number for uh, Vico's MDMK or the left has been made as of yet. <laughs> Another out of Mulia Telegraphy, Puducha, Manbu, Ama, or Hill, Lodi, Talamile, Tamil Nadu, Kungi, Langer Paraway, Tamil Nadu, Counter Hill Paraway, Yaha, Uru Tuguri, Udiki, Ama, or Hill, Tangalade, Kutani Lang, and Nitra Gar Hill, Kodi Kanakan, a counter some of them, Kungu Alan some of them, whatever some of them, Rosa Hilaria, Arasi Langi Haradriga, Egalodea, in the Mahatana, Angi Harangal, Tandragang, Ama, or Hill. Now, the big tragic news that came in today from international quarters at least 300 people have been killed. And there's been widespread devastation in Japan after a massive earthquake that triggered giant tsunami waves in coastal parts of the country. Capital Tokyo came to a standstill as fires raged across the city. People across the world watched in horror the images coming in from Japan. For those in India, it brought back memories of the tsunami in Tamil Nadu. An 8.9 earthquake that triggered off tsunami waves over 13 feet high. To ever hit Japan. The tsunami devastated large areas of northeastern Japan. Fields, homes, airports, everything. Anything that came in its way simply swept away. The world watched as the massive waves overwhelmed. Cars, homes, simply floating away in a coastal surge. Sendai, perhaps the worst hit. The quake struck about 400 kilometers from the capital, Tokyo, that bore the brunt of the quake. It hit at 2.46 local time. The impact led to huge fires in and outside Tokyo. Clouds of fire and smoke that touched the sky and refused to die. Oil refineries and other factories also caught fire. Tokyo and many other cities hurled back in time. Without power, transportation, four million homes had no electricity. Subway stations were shut down. Bullet trains stopped. Thousands came on the streets. Everyone desperately tried to get in touch with their families. As military planes took off to survey the damage and rescue officials worked overtime to help, came these pictures, striking fear into the hearts of millions. A second round of massive walls of water in the ocean, making their way towards land, adding horror to an existing nightmare. As governments urged people to go to higher ground, residents took refuge on rooftops, some desperately asking for help. The Japanese Prime Minister came on national television to calm his countrymen. He also said that all nuclear plants were safe shut down and there were no radiation leaks. But as the day progressed, news of a fire in the turbine building of Onagawa nuclear plant. Twenty countries and many Pacific islands were put on a tsunami alert. Taiwan, New Zealand, Australia, Hawaii, Indonesia braced for the attack. But hours later, when the waves hit the Taiwan coast, the tsunami had weakened significantly. A relief for several countries who were prepared for the worst after today's quake the strongest in seven years. NDTV Bureau report. Well, some breathtaking images there, but the long night only beginning in battered Japan. Still ahead on the bulletin, Nagpur is stained with the blood of a young girl outside a campus with more mute spectators. Will there be more Radhika Tanwars?